Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Testing VOR with the SMA100B. In this short presentation, we'll show you how to configure VOR signal generation on a Rodian Schwartz SMA100B analog signal generator. This presentation assumes a basic familiarity with VOR and the structure of VOR signals. If you're not already familiar with VOR, you might want to watch the presentation Understanding VOR before proceeding with this presentation. VOR is one of the supported avionics signal types on the SMA100B. In other words, the SMA can generate VOR signals with user-defined parameters for the three components of a VOR signal, namely the reference signal, the variable signal, and the COMID signal. Recall that a VOR signal contains a carrier that's modulated by two 30 Hz signals. The reference signal, which has the same phase regardless of which radial we're on, and the variable signal, whose phase is different on each radial. The current radial is the same as the phase difference between reference and variable signal. For example, if the phase difference between reference and variable is 45 degrees, this means that we're on the 4-5 radial. The COMID signal component isn't used for determining the current radial, but rather contains a Morse code or voice signal that can be used to unambiguously identify the VOR station. To access the different avionics modulation types on the SMA100B, including VOR, first select the modulation tile, then choose Avionics Standards from the list of available modulation types. The frequency of the generated signal can be specified either directly in the main SMA100 GUI or under the General tab in VOR Configuration. In addition to specifying frequency as a user-defined value in megahertz, the VOR transmit frequency can also be specified using standard ICAO channel numbers. Here, ICAO channel 119 corresponds to the VOR frequency of 117.2 MHz. The Signal tab allows you to specify the operating mode for VOR signal generation, as well as to view or edit the parameters of the basic VOR signal. In most cases, these basic signal parameters, such as the VARREF frequency, subcarrier frequency, deviation, etc., should be left at their default values. The four different operating modes control which of the VOR signal components are present and or modulated. Norm generates the standard VOR signal with the optional COM ID, whereas the other three options selectively enable the variable and reference signals with or without modulation. Again, to generate a standard VOR signal, the default values for operating mode and signal modulation should be used. On the other hand, the Position tab contains the Bearing Angle parameter, which is the most commonly changed parameter in VOR testing. Recall that the Bearing Angle is the phase difference between the reference and variable signals, and that this difference defines the VOR radial. If we're on the 8-5 radial, the difference in phase between reference and variable signals is 85 degrees. Note, however, that we can designate a radial as either to or from. For example, this aircraft is on the 8-5 from radial because the angle from the VOR to the aircraft is 85 degrees. We could also express this as the angle from the aircraft to the station, which would be 85 plus 180, or 265 degrees. The signal produced by the SMA is exactly the same in both cases. The COMID signal is used by pilots to ensure that they're tuned to the proper VOR station. VOR stations transmit this ID signal either as Morse code or as a recorded voice message. If COMID is enabled, the SMA will generate the defined code in Morse, or a constant AM tone if this field is left blank. The period or interval between the IDs can be defined, as well as additional ID parameters such as the frequency of this tone, the modulation depth, the time scheme, and the dot length used in producing the Morse ID. These last two parameters control the lengths and timing of the dots and dashes themselves. In summary, the SMA100B can be used to generate standard or customized VOR signals. The three basic parameters in VOR signal generation are the frequency, level, and the bearing angle or radial. In addition, the various components of the VOR signal can be enabled or disabled or modified. These are the reference signal, the variable signal, and the COMID signal. This concludes our presentation, Testing VOR with the SMA100B. Thanks for watching.